Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I am going to be talking about my goals for 2022. It is already February so I feel like I have uh, missed out on making this video earlier but I wanted to put it together before it gets too late in the year. So I have a list on my phone that I made here. These are just a few of my goals that I wanted to share, kind of like resolutions, but like the word goal better. So I have, let's see, I think about 10 on here that I am going to be talking about. So let's get right into it. So my first huge goal of 2022 would be to start making money off of YouTube and to do that I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time which seems like a ton and it is but for one with you guys' help make sure that you are subscribed if you're watching my videos and watching my videos all the way through that will help me so so much in reaching my goal and being able to um, help support my little family and my YouTube channel. So that is goal number one. I am hoping to finally get there this year. I obviously need to stay more consistent on YouTube. And if you hear screaming, the kids are playing in the room with Carl. But yeah, staying consistent and posting lots more. We have been so sick this year with COVID and we are now getting over the stomach flu. So anyway, getting videos out this year has already been so hard. I've been wanting to stay so consistent, but it's been very hard so far with sickness, but trying to get back on the game and knock these videos out for you guys. And because it is one, what I love to do, I love filming our day I love filming videos and sitting down and talking with you guys and so obviously I need to just get with it and film lots more so anyway please make sure that you are interacting with my videos commenting liking them sharing them with your friends and if you watch my videos and you see that the subscribe button is red that means that you are not subscribed so make sure to click on that button and turn on your notification bell so that you can always see whenever I post a new video so that is goal number one a huge goal of mine for a few years now somehow my channel is just growing very slowly and I'm so grateful for everyone that has subscribed and watches my videos but obviously the goal is to eventually be able to support my family while loving what I do making videos so my next goal is what everyone says at the beginning of the year is to work out I actually have a weighted hula hoop that I bought and I actually love it and apparently doing it for 30 minutes is like running two miles so you like burn the same amount of calories apparently it's supposed to like sculpt your abs and the whole thing so I am trying to work on that um, yeah so trying to just work out more take care of my body and try and just like how I look because that is obviously hard especially after having kids but trying to just be more consistent with moving my body and doing what makes me feel good. Next one is a big one, it's being more patient with my kids. I don't know if it's just because it's winter time and we're like stuck inside because it's freezing here in Utah, but I feel like I just lose my patience with them a lot more than I do in the summertime and the springtime when it's warm. So anyway, a big goal of mine is to try and be patient with them because they are little and they're still learning and try to figure out life and have big emotions that they don't know how to control. So I need to be a better example of taking control of my emotions with them and just being more patient with them because they are seriously the best and hopefully it gets warm soon even though it was groundhog day and the dang groundhog saw his shadow which means six more weeks of winter but what can you do we live in utah anyway so it's gonna be cold but anyway <laughs> So my next one is to be more consistent on Instagram and TikTok. I feel like those are like the platforms that people are on the most and are growing the most on. And so I'd love to be more consistent on both of those. If you aren't following me on either of those, make sure to click the links down below in my description box so that you can follow me on both of those platforms so that you can see whenever I post on those. Because yeah, I feel like I take tons of pictures and videos, but I just... So definitely gonna try and post lots more on both of those platforms because I feel like people are on those more and so you'll be able to see more of me on those if I post on there. My next one is to be a better listener. I feel like I'm a pretty good listener but I feel like I always 
if someone is talking to me about something, I feel like I want to like say something that say something that I'm feeling or like say a story that relates to me. So I feel like I just want to just listen and not like talk about myself as much. So that is another goal of mine. Another one is to have a better sleep schedule. And this is very hard for me because whenever the boys go to bed at night, I just wanna lay in bed and watch shows all night long till like midnight or one in the morning. And then the next day I am so exhausted and feel awful. And so I wanna try and turn my computer, my phone off at like 10.30 and just try and sleep. That is a huge goal of mine because I will literally just stay up watching shows until midnight and then I'm like <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna try my hardest to try and go to bed earlier it's so hard whenever you've just been with kids all day long and you just want your own time but I will be a better mom and a better person if I take care of my sleep better because Hayes is still waking up a few times a night I don't know how to make him sleep but the only thing that puts him back to sleep is if I feed him. So anyway, it's kind of a big thing, but I am barely sleeping at night and it's been very hard <laughs> to be a nice person <laughs> because I'm so tired. But another one is to eat more at home. Carl and I are like huge foodies and, and so we obviously spend too much money on food. That is like the only thing that we really spend money on is like going out to eat a ton and getting DoorDash delivered a ton and so we definitely need to just try to eat at home because we always buy enough food to last us the whole week like from Walmart or wherever we grocery shop Trader Joe's but Zupa's or Cafe Rio or Chinese always sounds way better so anyway gonna try and eat more at home even though I don't really want to but it is definitely a goal that needs to <laughs> happen. One is to have more date nights. We finally found a babysitter that we love. She's so cute and so nice and she's actually wanting to be a NICU nurse. That's why I like messaged her in the first place was because I was like seriously amazing. She obviously loves kids so anyway we found her and Everett loves her which is great because the other few babysitters that we have had he like cried the entire time that we were gone and just like yeah, it was not working. We finally found this cute girl and we seriously love her. She is so dang sweet. Um, and we're so grateful that she comes to watch our kids. So anyway, that is obviously a huge part of going on a date nights because we need someone that we trust and that kids love and that they love our kids. So anyway, we have gone on a few date nights since we found her and it has been so good for us. We just even, like one night we went out to dinner and then we just sat in the car and talked for like over an hour and it was just so good to just talk to Carl and just be like present with him without our phones or our computers or TV or anything. It was just so good to just be there with him because we had not been out on date night. It's like even maybe before Everett was born, like it's been forever. The times that we got babysitters was like Carl had to work and I had to be somewhere. So it's like not that we were having date nights before. So. Anyway, now that we found a good babysitter, um, we have been going on on dates and it's been so good for us. So, I to go out on more date nights, a couple times a month, maybe two times a month. Another one is to sit down and play with the kids more instead of just sitting on the couch and watching them. Obviously, it's very good for them to have independent play and I think most of the day that they need to just be playing with each other by themselves and learning and growing that way. Sometimes I feel like I need to just get off the couch or stop cleaning or stop doing whatever I'm doing and just sit down and play with them and talk with them and play cars or, you know, whatever they want to play with, color with them or, you know just sit down and play because they obviously want my attention too and easy to just be cleaning the whole house or sit on your phone on Instagram or YouTube all day and I feel like they obviously need my love and attention as well so is another one of my goals and the last one that I have written on here is to get out more by myself and also with the kids to like do more things for myself. I just started getting my nails done, which has been fun for me. I just go out and 
for an hour I'm just doing my nails and I'm not with the kids, I don't have to listen to them, they're here with Carl and they're in good hands so it's good. And then the other one is get out more with the kids by myself which has been really hard for me. That's like what I always tell people is the hardest thing about having kids by myself is going out in public with them because I feel like one of them is always sad always crying or always want something, doesn't want to sit in the cart, wants to be held, blah, blah, blah. So going to the zoo is also hard because Everett doesn't want to sit in a stroller now. He just wants me to hold him the whole time and I can't hold him and push the stroller and hold Hayes in the carrier. So anyway, but that is one of my goals and I feel like it's going to be a lot easier. Everett gets warmer outside because right now it's just awful to even go outside and play on the playground right outside our door five feet away because it's just cold. But anyway, that is a big goal of mine to just be able to hop in the car and go places by myself with them. Which I have a bunch and it's not that huge of a deal but I feel like we're just cooped up inside and that is when I lose my patience with them. So anyway, that is a big goal of mine to just be able to hop in the car whenever I want to and go do things with them. So anyway, that is all of my goals that I've written down right now. I obviously have more that are in my head, but that is all I wrote down. And so I hope that you guys continue to support my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit the like button, comment, share, hit the notification bell. And yeah, it all supports my channel and helps me grow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.